Sit back, relax, and have yourself a Lipton. What's up, my dudes? We got the new rain mode. MX vs. ATV Legends. It's only on Thunder Valley. No pun intended right now, but it is going to come to more tracks. So let's get on here at No Ghost Conditions. Rainy, bro. <laughs> Spitzy boy a little too excited we're a little too excited about a weather mode in a motocross game I love it dude I love it dude I'm such a big fan of like rain style tra oh my god look at this shit bro I've not even rode on this track yet even in the dry mode yet so this will be a little interesting here holy shit yeah I was really wanting to see like how the physics felt different like in the mud and also this what the sh your bikes just going crazy bro um they also added an update that adjusted some physics things just like a couple days ago so you have that combined with the whatever the actual rain mode is doing to the the feeling of the dirt traction of the dirt you know what i'm saying so it's got definitely got a really different kind of feel to it here for show for show, Spencer boy. Bro, it looks pretty sick though, like visually. Almost got I mean obviously uh you know Legends is not damn that's a nice double right there. Uh Legends is not like a milestone level graphics, but this ain't looking too bad, bro. I just love to see it, man. Like, especially in a game that, you know, you're waiting on it to get some big kind of feature like this right here. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is going to do a lot for this game. Just having something a little bit different to do in the game. I think eventually they're going to have it on all of the tracks, or at least most of the tracks. Holy shit. Bro, that triple is daddy, dude. Damn, MX vs. ATV. Oh, shit, yeah, I guess it's probably the rain mode making it a little more tricky, but, <laughs> bro, you're going to have to be wide on some of these jumps in the rain mode. So, interesting kind of how they did that. I do have to point this out. The fact the first time they're bringing out a rain mode here, even that's a triple. Dude, I feel like I'm jumping to the moon. Um, So, what's interesting, though, is the fact that to be able to ride on the rain mode at all in the game right now, you would have to have Thunder Valley, because it's the only track with the rain mode right now, and the only way to have Thunder Valley is to have paid for the season pass or the track pass. You see what I'm saying? So they kind of got it like a... Maybe it's trying to incentivize you a little more to get the track pass quicker, to, to ride. You've also got the rain mode to ride on. Almost like giving the people that bought the pro motocross tracks like a bit of a exclusive early access to the rain mode. I don't know. There's kind of a couple different ways of looking at that, but we'll see how long it takes them to bring the rain mode out to the other tracks. I do have deformation turned on maximum right now. But uh, yeah, okay, so you're wanting to know about how does the mud mode actually feel? Uh, I can't over jump that first double. So basically, yeah, it's obviously cutting back a lot of the power out of the bike. That's like the first thing you notice. I'm not going to say it feels super slick. Like, it ain't like, oh my god, you know, I'm like actually sliding over everywhere. Really don't feel like it's like that. Uh, obviously makes the jumps more tricky. Obviously really visually changes everything. Uh, but as far as actual changing the way the dirt feels, like, it, it just feels like it's robbing your power, basically. Um, a little bit more slidey, you know, kind of does have a little bit more of that if you really get to steer in the bike super hard. But it's not, I don't think you're going to accidentally slide out very much here. Um, makes the jumps pretty fun, though. Kind of makes them, got that little tricky vibe to them, but... Yeah, I would assume it kind of sort of maybe makes like a 450 feel like a 250 and a 250 feel like a 125, you know, that kind of vibe to it. It's nice to know you can still hit some of the jumps. 
maybe not all of the jumps. That was something I didn't really like about like the, the mud mode on the, a lot of the milestone games. Basically, like, you were still hitting most of the stuff, and it just didn't really do a whole lot, you know? It was basically more just a visual mud effect, if anything. Um, so, yeah, they're all kind of... All these different motocross game companies have tried to figure out that... Bro, can you triple to the inside there? woo -hoo! Legs off, baby! Oh, dude. Pull them back around on low legends, dude. If I die, I'm a mother f tea sipping the mother f tea sipping legend. I am the one. Okay, so we'll inside here. Okay, yeah, hell yeah, brothers. But yeah, not not necessarily quite as slick as what I would have originally. Uh, okay, there's that triple. It's not too bad. You just got to seat bounce it. Got to get your little seat bounce going, bro. We blew that SpongeBob out, dude. Thank God those are not super hardcore collidable or I'd have been dead there. But yeah, just a nice little nice little addition here, especially in a game that... Is this the first MX vs. ATV game to have a technical rain mode? I almost think it is. Obviously, you've had like rain custom tracks on... On... Um, you know, like reflex and stuff like that, but and you know, there's been like mud sections on certain tracks in MX vs. ATV games, but I don't necessarily remember a actual rain mode. I believe this might be the first one to ever be in an MX vs. ATV game. So, with all things considered, you know, I can't be too, too harsh on it because it's like I'm sure they're going to update this and fix upon it and work upon it and make it feel more like mud. I'm sure they're currently kind of building that around the physics a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, whereas like the Milestone games, I started to be harsh on them because it was like their 69th game that they had mud, you know, the mud mode in. The rain mode. So it's like, okay, you got to expect a certain level out of that. But I'm not even really expecting too much out of this on Legends. It's like a certain feature I, I wasn't even necessarily expecting to be in the game. Thought it would have been cool. But now it makes you think, do they just stop with the rainy mode weather? Or will they have a cool, interesting, new, like, dry weather mode? Where it really dries out, blue grooves, changes the track conditions. That would be badass too. Have a rain mode, dry blue groove, dusty kind of mode. You get like a real dust effect off of the bikes, something cool and different. And then, you know, your normal versions of the tracks are like, quote unquote, like perfectly prepped or whatever you want to call it, you know. Uh, holy shit, look at it now, boys. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it took this whole video for me to get to this kind of weather mode. It is dynamic. Oh my god. This shit is dynamic. And there is water on the... Bro. Oh my god. This shit just blew my mind. Look at the lightning, dude. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind there, boys. Spitzy boys start whipping in the in the damn thunderstorm, bro. We got tropical storm out here, bro. Hurricane Island, bro. Oh my god, bro. Shout out to the Sim Custom Track fans. <clears throat> okay, damn, little rough spot. Okay, so yeah, you can see you can run a bunch of laps. And technically, you, you can still be in basically like the daytime rain mode version. So you have to ride enough laps on the track. You have to stay on it long enough. Then it, the skies start <laughs> getting dark and the tornado starts coming in. See it open back up now. Went back to the normal. Okay. So it's like a mid-race kind of function. That is crazy, dude. Okay, well, yeah, this is better than what I expected, honestly. For it to have that to it, I don't know if it was like, was it really changing the feeling? I think that may be just entirely like a visual thing. Um, but nonetheless, really cool to see. 
you know, make it would make it harder to see what you're doing when it all of a sudden gets darker like that. Just kind of a cool thing. I don't know. So yeah, if you hop on the track with the rain mode turned on and you're like, why does this not feel like what I thought I was seeing in some of those posts from MX versus ATV? That's the reason. You got to stay on the track long enough to actually see that. Okay.